I was trying to stamp the inside pocket in the back of the conductor body and that is a slightly uneven surface and I wasn't getting a good stamping. I was having too many rejects. So I wanted to machine a pocket in the back of the conductor that would receive that stamp and give a more even impression. And that's easier said than done. I cast these thin discs of resin using leftover resin when I was making the different castings. And then I sanded these flat on the belt sander. And I wanted these so I could practice the branding, which would be done in the pocket in the rear of the body casting. And the reason for making these little spots here is that these will be exactly the same surface as what will be in the back of the conductor. This is what's called a bottom cleaning bit. And if you look at this and put a ruler across that edge, it's not completely flat. This is somewhat depressed from this outside edge. So when this contacts the wood, this outside edge is the first part that hits. And that's fine for the purpose of this bit, or even mill cutters are ground in the same fashion. If this is traversing across the piece of wood, it leaves a perfectly flat bottom. If you're doing a plunge cut like with this disc, this is a high spot. So this is somewhat of a cone shape. When you go in to stamp this, your branding iron will hit this high spot first before it hits these outside edges. That's okay as long as you know it's going to do that. Another way of demonstrating that is the fact that this ruler will rock back and forth on there. The letters on this branding iron cover an area about the size of a dime. This is a 30 watt iron. You have to let this heat up for about 15 minutes before it's ready to brand. And this will brand a piece of wood much faster than it will this plastic. I was somewhat surprised at how difficult it was to brand this plastic resin. I spray this with a Teflon, which kind of helps keep this plastic from sticking to the head. When it's hot enough, I put that on there and just wiggle it around a little bit until I see smoke coming out from all sides of it and I can hear it start to sizzle. I want to move it side to side and forward and back without moving those letters around to make sure I'm leaving an even impression. Then I remove it and I clean the head with a brass brush. And then it takes several minutes for this to regain its temperature before it's ready to brand another one.